Welcome back to the show, everyone. Uh, always a pleasure to see our next guest. We worked with him for many, many years, and he has gone on to do some fascinating things, including the project we're speaking about today. Absolutely. It's the third annual 12 by 12 Vancouver Photo Marathon, and we are joined by Morton Rand Hegnerson. How are you? I'm Morton the Norwegian. Morton the Norwegian. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, first and foremost, before we get to the event itself, Morton, please tell us uh, what it. this is. That, Thanks, Mike. <laughs> yeah, Do not is, pull that. Do not pull it. This is the backup roll. And when I say the backup roll is the only one we have. This is your stunt um, roll? Yeah, because uh, Kodak was the last company to produce 12 exposure film. And we discovered when we were sourcing film for this year's uh, 12 by 12 Vancouver Photo Marathon that they don't make them anymore. And we have been. Do not. Literally. The 12 exposure film. Is gone. This is this is one of the last rolls. That's and amazing. We we got finally through our sponsor London Drugs. They were able somehow magically to source 60 rolls, <laughs> but that really is it. So when we do this next year, we have to I don't know invent a now, new role. Or explain something. the whole event because uh, the use of film. I mean, there will be people. We were joking about it, but there will be people who have maybe never seen an actual roll of film. Period. Yeah. But so this year we have um, a girl. She's 13 years old. So she was born the digital age after yeah. film started being phased out. <laughs> so we, we talked to her briefly to just make sure that she understands this is film photography. And she's very aware of it. But it's kind of interesting because uh, you see this generational gap. There are people who literally grew up never yeah. experiencing loading film in a camera, taking a picture, having to go develop it. Accidentally before you see opening it. your camera yeah. and yeah, that the entire, entire roll of film. Yeah. <laughs> okay, tell us about the 12 by 12 marathon, the concept, how people are participating, because it has become hugely popular. Yes, it has. <laughs> it's, Look at him. It's, He's it's, like, I have had to say no a lot. It's, it, it's kind of surprising. The, the overall concept of the 12 by 12 Vancouver Photo Marathon is we gather a group of people at a specific location at a specific time. This, is, uh, this year, it's on Saturday, August 6th at the Urban Rush Cafe. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> on, um, on English Bay. And uh, for 12 hours, at the top of every hour, we announce one theme. And it can be something very vague or something specific. And then they get one of these 12 exposure films, load them in their camera, and then for every hour they have to take one picture interpreting each theme. So by the end of the day, we have 60 photographers who return film to us, and then each of them have a sequence of 12 photos of these interpretations of 12 themes. No do-overs, no deleting, no anything Nothing. else. You and take you've the got picture, to focus. you got to do things and you with hope these cameras. Right. It is... Uh, a true creative challenge and yeah. also a bit of a stamina challenge because it is 12, 12 full hours. hours. Yeah. We start this year. We're starting at 10 a.m. and we're going to 10 p.m. So you literally have to participate for the entire time to complete it. And then after we develop it, we run it through a judging process and then we exhibit it at a huge exhibit that happens for six hours only. Now we're looking at some time lapse of you guys oh, uh, doing goodness. the I exhibit. They were just moving fast. Tell <laughs> us about what we're looking at, Morton. Yeah, so that was, this is the setup and the actual exhibit from last year. So as you can see, we hang these uh, boards up to display all the photos for each of the photographers. And that's one of the unique things about our concept. So each of the board has all 12 photos from yes. that specific photographer. And we display every photo taken at the exhibit. <laughs> even if it's terrible, even if it's under or overexposed, even if there's nothing, we will display it. Because you only get one chance. Yes. <laughs> and uh, we got, uh, the first year we did this, we got about 250 people show up for the exhibit. Last year we got almost 400 people. And we are expecting even more this year. <laughs> uh, simply because, and w what we discovered is, uh, we, we did this just for fun. We were like, let's make a photo contest because photo marathons are fun, right? And what we discovered is we kind of tapped into this need for people to start uh, collaborating around photography and also this creative process that's involved in taking pictures with film. Yeah. Because when you take pictures with a digital camera, you're, you, yeah. it's very fickle. It's like you take a picture, it eh, doesn't work, yeah. take another one. But with film, you have this thought process around it. You know that you have a limited role in our case, an extremely limited role. And then you have to really look at what you're doing, consider it before yeah. you... And you well, don't get that instant gratification that you do with digital photography, because exactly. you can't see what you've done until you develop it. Yeah. So there's that whole anticipation thing attached and, to it as well. And we hold the film for over a month. <laughs> <laughs> so people forget what they... I mean, that's the other thing. I well, mean, let's look at some pictures from last year. Yeah, We've got to get to them. element of nostalgia yeah. to this. this. These are uh, some of the winners from last year. This is um, Kenny Louis photo. Uh, the theme is, if I remember correctly, uh, Expendables. 
And uh, he. Stormtrooper. Kenny shot his entire series using Legos. And he shot the entire series on location. So he brought crates of Legos with him. And then we'd spend the hour creating the scene. Yeah, and then he would sit there and we would announce the theme and he would go, uh. And, then, <laughs> and he, he would exclaim things like, oh, I forgot my ostrich. Like, <laughs> right, I'm not right, even right. joking. This my was, Lego man. And people were sitting there, what? <laughs> well, what, what a unique idea that he had, too. This is great. Yeah, yeah it's, it's just, he managed to interpret 12 themes very well. And he actually won for best series, because he had a whole series of these nice. Lego themes for all the themes. OK, let's look at the next one and tell us who it's by and what it was. Oh. This is Robert Foguer's interpretation of Torn Apart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> wow. It's, uh, uh, very self-explanatory. But it was also, there's something visceral about this photo. Yeah. Because a lot of people took pictures of other things. But this one was very, like, oh, there's no question about this. But at the same time, it requires a bit of creativity to come up with that. Morton, I mean, there's one thing that's that's obviously, you know, the, the, artist, the artistry of the photograph. But that interpretation is just a whole other branch as well. Yeah. You know, you give people a theme, and the way they interpret it is fascinating. And it's because you have kind of a limited time, right? You only have about an hour to take each picture. So you really have to have be able to tap into this creativity. Yeah. And then after you come up with an idea, you have to go, where do I find this? <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> and how do I not blow it? Okay, creativity, let's look at the next logistics. One. Yeah, so this is um, Matthew Sinclair's interpretation of a Secret World. Oh, that's really Interesting. cool. Interesting. And it's, yeah, there's a Dude, lot of different, deep. a lot of different interpretations of this photo. Yeah. It's kind of interesting when we, because we blew it up in these huge yeah. frames. That's what they win, these on enormous frames On its own, not knowing the theme, Opus. it's a great photo yeah, on its and, own. And people were standing there going, what did he think? What yeah. was the, is this a positive thing or a negative thing? Or what, what is going on? Creepy so thing. It's, yeah, it's, it's a very <laughs> creepy thing. It's just, it, it's open to a lot of interpretation. Yeah. Wow. And that's the magic of it, right? I see. Don't worry. Be happy up okay, there. OK, let's the go morning. to the next <laughs> one, because I think uh, this one I love. Uh, this was one of the most complicated themes we had last year. It was vague. <laughs> it's a bit of a but challenge. I love that, this that, picture. That was the theme, vague? Vague. So wow. this is Martin Chung. It's a long exposure, which in itself is kind of a risk when you're doing film photography, because yeah. you only have one chance. Because you had to then have the exposure open long enough to show to both going. the lights, right? And it is truly vague. Like, there's wow. It truly is. It. OK, we want to get to the last one, because I love it. Because everybody's had this. Oh. This is just like you look at this picture, and you know the feeling. Oh. Yeah, so this is a word I use a lot, because I'm Norwegian. I don't understand English all that well. So I keep saying that things are unfunny. <laughs> <laughs> I keep saying that's not a real word. Well, this picture truly is unfunny. unfunny. It's oh. taken by Lisa King. And it's, it just you know exemplifies the situation that everyone has been in. Yeah. And it is unfunny. It really like, yeah. captures the moment. <laughs> now, we have to say that the 12 by 12 uh, Vancouver Photo Marathon is sold out. Yes, we sold out. We sold out in 10 minutes. <laughs> what? And we currently have 60 people on the waiting list. But what we're doing this year is we're inviting people to sign up on the waiting list and show up the day of. And participate digitally, and then we'll do something with the photos. So we'll right. actually open it up for more people. Yeah. They won't be displayed on those big placards yeah. on the exhibit, and they will participate in the contest itself, but they'll still be able to participate, because we want people to just congregate around photography. And once it's done, we also want people to show up at the exhibit, because it's a nice. lot of fun. So Very if cool. they show up there uh, and they're not part of the direct competition, they don't get their canisters, they can still participate, they still get their hourly, yeah. uh, this Themes. is your theme, and away you go. So you go to the website, you sign up for the wait list, we'll send you an email and explain to you how it all works. Very and cool. we really hope to see a lot of people there because there's a huge community well, of photographers well in Vancouver. <laughs> yeah. And this is a great way to meet a lot of new people and really make friends because you're there for 12 hours. Is you there... can go to the website to find out more info. It's VancouverPhotoMarathon.com to find out all the information. Thank you so much, Morton. Nice Thank to see you. you. Thank you, Morton. I was going to say, hopefully the theme doesn't involve a lot of summer this year because we're in deep, deep trouble <laughs> if it does, my friend. Just a little bit. We're going to take a break.